Everybody has their troubles. Everybody in this world have troubles and issues and this that they have to deal with. Well, I'm dealing with them. I'm not running away from them anymore. First of all, nobody talks for me, okay? Nobody talks for me. Unless you hear it from me, then, um, you know, then it's, it's either true or not. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that, you know, we, we uh, like Richard said, there's, there's a, a few things that we're not agreeing on, but it's nothing that cannot be worked out, basically. Um, yes, he's the CEO of the company. He's the CEO of the company, and uh, and uh, you know he's the CEO of the company on paper for 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 a few more years. So um, that's that's basically it. I I have I have nothing against Floyd, other than he's beaten about <laughs> five or six of my guys, including myself. But that's nothing personal. I mean, this is a business, and I understand what Floyd is saying. But I mean. This is the fight game. Okay, you beat my guys. Okay, well, hopefully I have the guy that's going to beat you. I mean, that's the name of the game. Um, there's nothing personal there. Al Heyman, I've never, ever, not once, disrespected at all. So he knows that. It's like I said, nobody talks for me. And I'm sure nobody talks for Al Heyman. The bottom line is, is that Shape is the CEO of Golden Rifle Promotions. Like he said, he's making fights. Great. He's making fights happen. He's doing his job. And that's what he should be doing. I can't, I can't predict the future. I cannot say what he wants to do in the future. I, can, I, I, I don't think for him. So right now, he's the CEO of the company of Golden Boy Promotions. And he's making fights happen, which, which he should. He, the CEO of the company okay, um, is, is in charge of the company. You know, yes, I am the majority shareholder of the company. Absolutely, and I'm the president of the company. But the CEO has obligations and duties to run the company, to run Golden Boy Promotions. And uh, and right now, Richard is running Golden Boy Promotions as the CEO of the company. And yet, but yes, to answer your question, I did bring him along. You know, he did learn the game from me. You know, we we, we are a team. You know what I'm saying? Well, look, I mean, the, the bottom line is, the bottom line is, is that I was not well, okay? That's the bottom line. I was not well, okay? I got caught up with stuff. And I was down and out. I really was. So I decided to get back up, okay? To fight for me, to fight for my family, to fight for boxing, for the sport that I dearly love. This is the sport that I love that gave me everything I have. So I decided to get back up. Well, I'm here now. You can't take me out anymore. That's it, I'm here. You know, and I have my vision and I have my plans and nobody's gonna stop me from doing that. I can assure you that, that's for sure. So, you know, I mean the Golden Boy, the company's named Golden Boy for a reason, you know. I mean, this is the, you know, this is the fight of my life right now. I love it. I can fight. I can win. You don't know what happened to me. I mean, it's not a secret. But coming back to boxing, is there a fight there that you're looking at? No, there's no fight. I just have, I just have to lace up the gloves and, 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 and put up my dudes. That's it. I don't have to throw punches. You know, this company was built. This company was built and named Golden Boy for a reason, you know? And we're working day out, day, uh, day in and day out, and we're gonna continue to build, we're gonna continue to sign fighters, and build this company to what I believe, uh, uh, you know, its potential can, kind of, you know. I believe that this, this company, Golden Boy Promotions, uh, hasn't even scratched the surface, you know? And everything just happens for a reason. What happened to me happened for a reason. I'm just glad that I can be that example and
and show the world that I didn't stay down and knocked out. I don't want to be a statistic, not me. I, I, now I want to be the golden boy, the real golden boy. I have nothing against Richard, but I have to look out for myself. I have to look out for my company. I have to look out for boxing. When I started this company, I wanted to look out for boxing. Boxing is my sport that I love. This is a sport that, 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 that gave me everything that I have. What importance, what matters the most to me now, right now, okay, obviously my family, but this company, boxing, that's what matters to me the most behind my family. The fans, they want to see great fights, you know? This is important to me. I had a little derailment, a big one. I did. I don't want to stay down. I'm tired of staying down. I'm a fighter. I am a fighter. And I'm going to fight. It's not a comeback. It's not a comeback. You know? How many fighters does your company now actually have under contract? And were you surprised to learn that a lot of these guys that your company's been promoting, in fact, only have their first to now handle? Well, look, obviously, obviously, I have to look out for, for me. And was I surprised? Absolutely, of course. Do I know how many fighters exactly are under contract with Golden Boy? There's quite a few. There's quite a few. We have a big, a big stable of fighters. I don't know the exact number, but like I said, I have to look out for myself. This is a business. Yes, this is a sport I love and that I wanna I wanna protect and make the best fights happen, but it's a business. And I have to protect myself. One thing for sure is, is that I feel that you know when our lives are exposed or even business is exposed through the media without hearing it from me personally or from, I'm sure you've heard it from Richard, but it, 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 it's just, it's getting out of hand. It really is. You know, I have a choice of taking it personal or not taking it personal. Dealing it like a business or not dealing it like a, you know, like, like a business. I have those choices. What do I would rather do? I would rather sit down with Richard and just talk to him. That's it. You know, just like I did with Bob. I can sit down with Richard and talk to him and say, hey, what's the problem? What's the deal here? Can we work something out? Can we, uh, what's going on? Lay out all the cards on the table. Why not? Is that going to happen? I would like to. Absolutely. Absolutely. We've been letting lawyers deal and handle with this situation. I think maybe it's time to extend that olive branch. You know, you know what I'm saying? I think it's time because, uh, like I said, I have I have nothing against Richard because I respect and admire and appreciate what he did for me. I really do. But at the same time, I have to look out for myself and for my family. That's that's the most important. But if it means extending an olive branch so we can work hand in hand for the business, then why not? You know, that's, that's how I feel. Then why not? You know, for the sake of boxing. If Richard left Golden Boy and, and it was just you, could you ever see yourself joining forces with Arrow? <laughs> it's never just me. <laughs> it, I know. I, I didn't, I didn't, there's, there's more to it. I didn't. Yeah, I, I fought in the ring, and it was just me. But outside the ring, I have a team, a whole team. And the way I found Richard, many years ago, you know, from the banking world, and, and, and asked him if he can come along with me and help me out, and, 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 and we can start Golden Boy Promotions. The way I did that, I can do it again. That is no problem for me. That is no problem. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's it.